And this is now today's lineup. Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. The Bayern fans singing their songs. This indeed is a super club in so many ways. game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well on the face of it peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest Action has already started. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. He's got everything you'd want from a top-level keeper. Great shot-stopping, but also a, a very cool head and, and a good organiser. What's more, he's very happy to play sweeper-keeper behind that defence, mopping up loose balls before picking a pass and get his team on the front foot again. Hits one! Well, that is rather wayward. Lewandowski worked a lovely solo run and effort, Peter. He should go solo again for me. Araujo, that's firm, and more pertinently, it's fair. Showing good feet. Wasn't going to let him past. Araujo moved on forwards. Challenge was sure and true. Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Sane. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. And it's Canavri. Coleman. Mops it in gently. Ball through needs to be good here. Oh, real danger here. Now, and the shot! Goal! Bayern Munich! And Bayern Munich take the lead! That is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Is number nine, Robert Lewandowski. Bayern Munich take the lead, 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. It'll be a throw-in. Looking for the runner. And he's in a really good position here now. And that's played in low. And the keeper's in command. 
Coleman. And we've reached half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Bayern Munich, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time. One nil up. Substitutions taking place. There's the start of the second half. Bayern Munich really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Now it's Lewandowski and it's Gnabry. Lovely bit of skill there. Very well to intervene. Possession football, Jim, we're seeing plenty of it. What is it, though, that really makes it work? Well, for me, what makes it work is the fact that everyone in this team has the courage to show for the ball. You can't shy away from it. You can't hide. You have to front up in a setup like this, and everyone is doing just that. You make it sound so simple. And the finish! That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. I'm not making any apologies, but I was willing him to and supply the finish, and he came up trumps. After 62 minutes, number 20. Bayern Munich take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. And Sonny! Oh, the ball's run loose here. That looks a good ball. Oh, he's been caught on it. Big chance! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. After 70 minutes, number nine, Robert Lewandowski. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Bayern Munich take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, it's been a, an up... Tries a shot! Well, that is one way to stop him. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Memphis the pie! It's run loose, who's going to get there? Dembele, and that'll go straight through to the keeper. Now it's Lewandowski. Sergio Roberto. 
Kimmich. Koeman. Lewandowski. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. He's been given offside again here. Yes, he has. And they're quick to get it back. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play was outstanding too. So and just time for me to say today. thanks to Jim Please for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening. Thank you very much for your